The Instruo collection is back in VCVREC, updated to VCV2 with three new modules that were just released a few weeks ago. We have Neoni, which is an interesting oscillator with through zero FM, not phase modulation, but frequency modulation. We have EAS, which is a Boolean logic module. And we have the F1, which is a cross fader with a dedicated fader that we can use to fade between dif uh, two different signals. Now, uh, as I mentioned, they are updated to VCV2, which means that they have also some new features. For example, the port labeling, so you can see on each uh, input and output exactly what it is, right? And if I connect something, for example, if I send, for example, harmonic to psych, you can see that now it says from is true harmonic root CV output, so you can see exactly what is patched to what. And there is another new feature, which is the bypass mode that I would like to show you this in a second. So in VCV2 now, there is a, a feature in the right-click menu that says bypass. So you can bypass modules, but a signal will still go through and Instruo made sure that it will work also with their modules. Of course, the ones that should work like this, like filters, for example, right? So here I have Neoni going through the IO47. Right? And let's say that I want to see or to hear or to listen to the signal, to the voice um, before the filter, but I don't want to disconnect it. I want to make an A-B comparison. So I can either right click and say bypass, right? And now it will bypass the filter, but the audio still goes through, or I can hit control E, which is the shortcut, right? And compare the sound before and after the filter. Now I have dedicated videos on a few of the modules already. For example, Harmonig, um, Psych, Size, and oct right so there will be links in the description to those videos there will be more dedicated video videos on the uh, instruo collection on the different modules especially on the new modules as well uh, i want to show you quickly uh, neoni and then a few patching examples so neoni is a new oscillator from instruo with many sound design possibilities it has through zero fm it can act also as an lfo hard sync soft sync wave folding and more there will be also a dedicated video on neoni in the future we have multiple wave outputs right we have a square wave we have a saw wave which is quite interesting because we can change here or we can split the signal the wave you can see this also on the scope and at one point we get basically an octave up and this we can also modulate we have of course a triangle a sine wave but and we have also wave folding or a wave folder output which is i think already a trademark of uh, of instruo they have beautiful uh, wave folding sounds and in the words of todd barton wave folding is like a rainbow and um, so we have also wave folding right which is quite, quite interesting. Again, also this we can uh, modulate. So we have here a modulation control or a CV input and an attenuator that we can route either to the wave folder or to the sawtooth, right? And we have also sync and FM. So let me bring here the TSL, another lovely oscillator from Instruo, right? So let's say that I want, let's go to the normal sine wave that I want to FM this we have traditional FM and we have through zero FM again this is not phase modulation this is really a frequency modulation I will put a link in the description to a video I did about exponential linear and through and linear through zero FM and also a video from Instruo about Neoni where they explain also about this concept right so I can FM this create interesting timbres. We can choose between uh, AC couple and DC couple. If you are using audio rate um, signals, you will use the AC. If you are using modulation like LFO sample and hold for tremolo and stuff like this, you will use the DC. And through zero FM, much more stable pitch wise. You can create really really interesting timbers of course this can act also as an lfo so you can have an lfo with this shape again there is also sync if i go back to traditional right we have um soft sync and hard sync 
Right, so really many options, many sound design options, many ways you can create new timbres and introduce new sounds to your pitches. And let's really have a look at a few pitch examples. So this is the first example I have here, Oct. I'm using Oct for pitch information. I'm sampling it with a sample and hold, a tag, I think it's called, right? Uh, so I'm sampling uh, the LFO Oct with sample and hold, and I'm mixing the sample and hold, this pitch information, with an envelope with size. So every now and then there is also a sort of glissando. The envelope will go through and will uh, create this glissando up and down. This is being quantized by Harmonig. Of course, I will put links in the description to the patches also if you're interested, if you want to have a closer look. Um, this is sequencing Neoni. Right, and I'm using here a uh, VCA, Vinca, with another envelope and some delay. Right, it will sound like this. I'm using Oct to modulate the wave folding as well. And the TSL is going here to the second channel of Vinca to the VCA. Right, and this is FMing Neoni. having interesting timbres, interesting sounds. Another thing I'm doing here is I'm using the other outputs of um, Neoni and I'm fading, cross-fading between them and a few waves from the TSL as well with pulsars from the geodesics. Basically, it's a switch, but it will cross-fade. It can cross-fade between the different inputs in this case. Right, this is going to the uh, IO47, to the filter. And what I'm doing here, I'm using uh, the sample and hold through a comparator, right? So I can get uh, clean gates, basically. And this will randomly uh, gate uh, size, right? And this is what's FMing, basically, together with the TSL. This is what will FM Neoni. And I have here Supercell, just for some granular fun. This is a sort of a dark generative patch. So I have here Oct triggering the sample and hold. So it's clocking the sample and hold. And the sample and hold is going and modulating Oct, the rate of Oct. So basically we have a sort of a modulation feedback loop that cre uh, creates or generates a generative uh, clock source, right? Now I'm using also the sample and hold as pitch information. I'm using Harmonig to uh, quantize this pitch information. And I have a Tona, which is another oscillator from Instruo going through a VCA, right? And I'm using Oct to open this VCA. And this is FMing, this is FMing Neoni through zero. So it creates a really interesting timbre. And you can solo this, this will be this sound. And it's also, there is also some wave folding going on. Right, so a really interesting timbre. Now I'm also sending, really nice, I'm also sending um, Oct to a comparator, just again to get clean gates, a sort of a rhythm from Oct. And I'm using um, EAS, I'm using the end or logic. So whenever the output from the comparator and the output, the gate output from Harmonic, only when they are both high, when they are both um, on, this will ping, this result will ping the IO47, going through a short delay with high feedback, almost carpless strong, you get the sorts of clicks. You can also solo this. Right? So we get those um, fun little percussive voices. Then I'm using Harmonig also to generate chords with Troika, which is a triple oscillator going through the IO47. And what I'm doing here, I'm dividing the clock or dividing the gates from Harmonig with a switch with Tyne. 
right? So I'm using it to trigger the switch and the switch, if nothing is connected, will output positive. In this case, it will be positive um, 5 volts, which is basically like a gate that will gate size. This is going through some delay, which is this here. Let's wait for it. One and two, so we get chords again. Sort of generative, so they will run in all sorts of different directions according to Harmonig. And the last voice is something that I do a lot, it's just Psyche through a filter. Psyche is a super saw oscillator, it has four saw oscillators that are a bit detuned from one another and creates this huge sound. It has also a sub oscillator, there is already a video all about Psyche if you are interested, right? So we have a nice bass voice as well. This is another fun patch. Here I have Harmonig basically generating chords once it's um, sequencing the Instruo Psyche, which has again four uh, volt per octave inputs. And I'm also using Psyche here, as you can see, to FM Neoni, and I'm using the F1 module to crossfade between them. Now, uh, the F1 has no CV input, but still we can map the fader and have really interesting uh, control. I have it map here, mapped here to a MIDI controller that I have here next to me. Right, this is going to a filter and a VCA also that will send this to a delay and a reverb. So let me unmute this. Right now you can hear two things. First of all, the rhythm of the filter and also it's changing um, notes. Right, so the rhythm I'm getting from Oct, so I'm using Oct here and I'm feedback modulating it, so I'm sending one output to the CV input, so we get this interesting rhythm. Right, and I have here also two um, basically constant uh, pitch, C and G, which I'm switching with the switch with Tyne. And the clock is just amusing again, as you can see I love comparators, or I enjoy using comparators, so I'm sending Oct into a comparator, this is going to a clock divider and a division of the clock is switching the switch so we get every now and then a different note, a different root note and from there the chord. Now let me show you what happens when I have a look here on the fader when I use my MIDI controller to bring in the other voice, the Neoni. Right? And I can also, with the MIDI controller, I can also add FM, so I will do this again and we'll add FM also. Very cool, so I can really, uh, um, as a performative tool, I can use this fader, I can map it to a controller if I want and have this. Now you heard also a distortion, let me do this again. Right, so what I have here, when I open the fader, also the VCA, have a look here, also Vinca will open and will send this voice to a delay and the reverb that go to uh, the Boolean logic that adds, if you send, uh, use uh, audio rate or audio with logic, it will create really nice crunchy distortion. I encourage you to use, uh, try this with all sorts of different sound sources. Really interesting. Another voice that I have here, I'm using again the chord from Harmonig and I'm arpeggiating it. This was a nice one. I'm arpeggiating it. Right in VCV Rec we have multiple modules we can use to arpeggiate chords. I have some modulation for the saw wave. As you can see, I'm using here the saw wave. This is going to the IO47 and I can control the cutoff point with another controller that I have here. And this is going through Supercell for some granular fun. So have a look here how I can open the filter and add this arpeggio. And again, 
again it will move with the chords from harmonic. And I can add this other voice. Right, so really lots to explore with the Instruo collection, finally, finally in VCV Rec 2. Um, I hope you will go explore them, I hope you will go and enjoy this collection. Um, again, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching and cheers.